Language Center Advanced uh, Online English course. And we continue today with the second conditional, uh, which I explained before. Uh, in the previous video, we talked about some basic structure, some basic examples with hypothetical situations and dreams. Right now, we're going to learn some tricks and some exceptions about this structure. First of all, a grammatical one. As I mentioned before, in if clause, we use the verb in past simple. But it's not so true or not entirely according to the grammar when it comes to the verb to be. Because as we know, the verb to be in the past simple has two forms, was and were. But in second conditional, a sign of good English grammar would be just using the form were for all the pronouns, including I, he, she, and it. So we would not say if I was, but we would rather say I were. We especially use it when we give an advice, which is one more use of second conditional, giving advice. When you put yourself in the situation of the person. For example, if I were you, I would not eat that candy. So that's one example. Instead of I, you can use he, she, and it, and it will sound better and more grammatically correct. Just so that you know that I'm not fooling you, um, I'll demonstrate the use of the structure used in a song by Beyonce. If I were a boy, even just for a day,